Hey everyone, this is Disc Junkie, and today I'm here to show you the Texas Chainsaw Massacre in this very old and uh, well, quite worn and damaged from time release from a company called Deran. And this is a release on Super 8 film. It's an 8mm abridged version, meaning that it's a much shorter uh, version than the you know regular to our whatever how long this movie is I can't really remember if it's 84 minutes or something uh, but this is a much shorter version not entirely sure you know the exact length because I don't have a super 8 projector so I can't actually watch this I uh, only bought it for the uh, collectability and extreme rarity and yeah you know I basically buy every version of this movie that I can find so yeah but you should know that by now so it's not really a big surprise and uh, well uh, basically just comes in a very very simple uh, cardboard box and it actually has nothing on the back, which is kind of strange, but um, I've seen a couple of different variations of this particular release uh, from uh, Deran. There is the spelling of the company, in case you're curious. Uh, and basically, uh, the other versions that I've seen either had a uh, blank uh, back cover, or they had a back cover which basically was just basically advertising other releases from Deran. So, uh, you know, I don't really think there is like any kind of back cover with like a, you know, plot line or anything printed like that for this movie. Uh, or at least not uh, released by Duran. I mean, obviously there are other companies that have released it, um, but uh, yeah. As you can tell, got a very faded sort of yellow, reddish, extremely retro looking cover, uh, which I really like. I really, you know, this is a very um, fitting uh, color scheme uh, for this movie. It's, you know, very sort of reminiscent of this particular scene in the film uh, where there's sort of like, you know, it's sunset and, you know, the sun is in the background and it's all very sort of warm and orange. I mean, if you've seen the movie, you know the scene I'm talking about. So I just, you know, I love this. Not only is it a very cool and unusual uh, and dare I say, you know, this is ultra rare. You won't find many of these uh, and if you do find them, you know, they're, they're not cheap. I managed to get this from another collector uh, and um, yeah. Just so happy to have it, and uh, we can just check the spine here on the downside. We have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre printed in the right way. It actually says chainsaw and not, you know, shortened in the one word. So, um, on the other side here, a simple spine, no printing. And the front cover, you know, as you can tell, you know, it's basically just a, uh, just a sticker uh, that's on a plain box and it just runs on the front cover and you know goes over to the spine so very simple and um, can actually show you this uh, fine print here in detail you'll notice that it actually says sold for private and domestic exhibition only public performance broadcasting or copying of this film or any part thereof is strictly prohibited so um, you know I don't really know I, I don't think this was uh, ever like a rental version I think this was you know one of the first uh, for sale you know for private use versions and, you know, I know that Ivor Film Services uh, did the um, distribution of this on Super 8 in uh, the UK. And apart from the Ivor Film Services version, uh, I haven't actually seen another version on Super 8. You know, this is the only other version that I've been able to find. And, I mean, if you know of another version, feel free to tell me because, you know, I'm always, always curious to find out. But, uh, yeah, Ivor Film Service and uh, Durand, that's the only two companies that I know of that have released this movie on Super 8. But uh, anyway, sorry for rambling, but it's just so fun to talk about. So just gonna move on and show you the <laughs> interior, if you will. Or well, basically just gonna show you the actual reel if I can, can get it out. Okay, there we go. So as you can tell, here we got the Super 8 reel. Whoops, there's no real lock on this. You know, the uh, film is basically just loose it doesn't have a um, locking clasp or anything which my other reel had but yeah so this is what they look like this is basically a I think this is like 400 feet uh, reel and um, well there's really not a lot to say um, notice that it actually says uh, handwritten here Texas Chainsaw and um, yeah um, nothing nothing much too much ah, fuck <laughs> Fuck it. Fucked up the sentence. Sorry about that. Uh, but anyway, uh, that is it. Uh, like I said, a very, very unusual version. Very happy to have this now. And I uh, want to give you, uh, yeah, can I please give a shout out? 
special thank you to Andy over on uh, the pre-search uh, forums because uh, you know he was the guy who sold me this and you know I doubt I would have been able to uh, pick it up anytime soon if he hadn't um, contacted me with an offer for it so uh, yeah but anyway that's it for me today and I want to say uh, thank you very much for watching and as usual hope to see you all next time there you go God, I'm such I'm such a fucking perfectionist, ain't I? <laughs>